Kareen, uh, how are things out there? Not too bad. Any change at the hideout? Security looks to be much tighter. It does? Oh, right. We had an intruder a short time ago. Everyone was shouting, spy, spy. It was chaos. A spy? What was he like? Uh, she, actually, and not very spy-like. A female? Didn't look like a spy. Yeah, she was dressed in a pretty crazy outfit. Hmm, I haven't a clue who that might have been. Uh, who's this, anyway? Oh, Atsuma. He wants to join us, so I brought him along. He could be useful. He's from the university in Yokohama. Wow, Yokohama, huh? I'm taking him to meet the leader. Well, as long as he's with you, Kareen, that's fine. Uh, go on through. Turned. Yes, just now. 
Good timing. We're having a meeting today. Then I'm glad I made it in time. So, who's this? The somber enchanter, depressed Atsuma. He wants to join our cause, so I brought him along. He's a little depressed at the moment, but don't let that bother you. He can be trusted. You have my word. Very good. Well then, let us fight together. The more the merrier. Nice to meet you, Atsuma. Yeah, you too. <laughs> he really is a gloomy fellow, isn't he? I hope we can make a difference together anyway. You've got a little more time before the gathering, so take it easy for now. I have to investigate an intruder, so I'll take my leave. Come on. <laughs> okay, okay. Who was that other guy? I don't like the looks of him. Another new member. Well, whatever. Let's just take it easy until the meeting starts. Thank you. 
I'll ask you one more time. Why did you attempt to sneak into our resistance hideout? Oh, I keep telling you! I'm here to score some ancient treasure and make some big cash. I don't know anything about any resistance. Good sense, perhaps? <laughs> Do you think you can fool us so easily? Of course she can't. You're obviously another spy sent by Caliban. I'm not! Oh, honestly, what more can I say? You totally moronic, pumpkin-headed idiot! So why did you come to our hideout? For treasure! Riches! Hard cash! I heard there's valuable treasure here. <laughs> Leader! Perhaps she isn't a spy. But a special operative instructed to steal a certain item. In which case, we can't let her leave here alive. Uh, I hate to cut in, but she isn't a spy. Nothing like that. <laughs> a new member? We need proof is what we need. Proof, words are not enough. You need proof, do you? Easy enough. Have you ever seen a spy that's a midget? Come on, her? A female spy? Where's the sex appeal? The curves? Good point. Good point. Good point! Good point! <laughs> Why you? Get a load of this. Ooh, baby! Well? So she isn't a spy at all. But just a golem hunter, like she was saying? Ignore me, then. Yeah, I'm a golem hunter. A treasure hunter. Huh. Okay, then. You can go. How about a little something to make up for this disgrace, huh? I'll sue you. What a piece of work. Okay, okay. Take this, then. Now get out of here. Nothing ventured, nothing gained after all. <laughs> As for you, Atsuma. Yeah. You won't get any thanks from me. See ya! Glad to be rid of that pest. Now, Kareem. Yes? It's time for the meeting, I think. We'll gather out in the hall. Okay, to the hall. Okay, looks like everyone is here. Time to start the resistance meeting. <clears throat> London City faces a crisis of unprecedented proportions. The revival of Devil Golems. The Devil Golem known as Queen of Ice laid waste to Yokohama City. Word is spreading throughout London that her next target will be our fair city. In response to this, our city, no, our king, Caliban, seeks to break the seal on the Devil Golem known as the Emperor of Fire. In order to fight fire with fire, or fight ice with fire. It makes sense, in some ways, certainly. But Devil Golems are beyond our control. History should tell us that. Look at the Golem War. What would happen if Devil Golems began to fight again? Or if another Devil Golem was revived? The Golem War would start all over again. We must stand against the tyranny of Caliban. 
One who can only think to resist evil with greater evil is not suited to lead us. How do they even know that the Queen of Ice will attack London City? Our only source of information is the castle. In order to get their hands on that mighty weapon, the Emperor of Fire, they are spreading fear, trying to manipulate us. We must not fall for this ploy. We must prevent the revival of the Emperor of Fire. We must protect the Emperor's magic core with our lives. Even if the King tries to storm this place, so long as justice is on our side, we will prevail. That's right. Justice is on our side. We're in the right. Justice is with us. Leader, can I say something? What is it, Kareen? I have no objection to foiling Caliban's plans to restore the Emperor of Fire. But what then? What do you mean? If the Devil Golem Queen of Ice really does come here, what do you intend to do? She might have to become the Queen of Ice? You're going to fight, are you? I, I, I can't. Not her. Please, calm yourselves. That's currently in the planning stages. We need to deal with the problems directly at hand first. We've received information from a reliable source that most of the Knights will be on patrol at the Yokohama City Ruins, giving us space to maneuver. I intend to reduce the numbers guarding the hideout and begin full operations in London City. That's too dangerous. Pressure on the Resistance has increased recently. Even our hideout could be compromised. Besides, a London Army investigation into Yokohama City should be finished by now. And they wouldn't have sent all their forces to Yokohama City anyway. Kareem, Rygar, we have fewer numbers than the London Army, I know. But numbers are no problem. We have justice and bravery on our side. We cannot lose. There's a fine line between bravery and recklessness, you know. Enough! We are going to focus on activities in London rather than on hideout defenses. Everyone act accordingly. Justice is with the resistance. Dismissed. Ugh. Kareen! What? Uh, why are you angry? I'm not angry. I just think our leader is. How can you be so relaxed? What happened to all that doom and gloom you were wallowing in a moment ago? Even at times like this, I can't help feeling hungry, can I? You look pale. You haven't been eating much recently, have you? Maybe not. I don't really remember. Okay, that settles it. I'm going to cook you up something special. Oh no. Oh no? What does that mean, Rygar? Uh, well... Don't worry about me so much, okay? I'm not going to cut or burn myself. That's... not exactly what I meant. To the refectory, Atsuma! You don't have to come, Rygar, okay? Suma. Yeah? I shall pray for your safety. Come back alive. What? What are you doing? Come to the refectory! into a tasty delight. You just wait here. Okay. Hey, Kareen, is it ready yet? Don't pester me, just hold on, okay? Okay, can I ask you something? 
Why are you involved in the resistance? Is that so strange? Well, I was wondering why a girl, a lady like you, was so involved, that's all. Aren't you scared? Yeah, I'm scared. But this is something that has to be done. There are plenty of other members, though. You could... I don't like leaving things to other people. They are good people, but they're naive. Ideals alone don't change a country. Preventing the Emperor of Fire's revival. That's a noble and worthwhile cause, but they aren't thinking beyond that. They think all will be well once the goal is achieved. So what do you think, Kareen? Oh, nothing. What do you say, beyond that? That's what you need my arm for, right? Hey, don't let your imagination get away from you. That arm of yours is only insurance for the worst case scenario. Anyway, I'm done. My special stew. I call it Kareen's Brilliant Stew. There you go. Eat up. This... This is a stew? What? You don't want it? No, 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 no. Uh, I'll, I'll eat it. Oh. Pretty good, right? It is my specialty, after all. Oh. Ah, ah, ah. This, this tastes like... Hey! Don't run off with Atsuma like that! What? I'm not running off with anyone. Thank you very much. He wanted to eat something. He gave me no choice, so I cooked for him. Ha! Huh. A likely story. Stinks in here, don't you think? Ugh. Is this your cooking? Ugh. What does that mean? Ugh. You expect humans to eat this? It looks like toxic ether waste. What did you put in this? I don't have to reveal my secret recipe to you. Atsuma, it tastes great, right? Oh. Uh, 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 oh. Atsuma! Hang in there. I'll get a doctor. Medic! Medic! He really annoyed me, but... Mikado's cooking was fantastic. A a am I gonna die? Without tasting anything that good again? Yeah. Uh, what? What happened to me? Of course. I'm dead. Poisoned. Killed by Kareem. I never saw that twist coming. Atsuma. 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 Ah. Atsuma, are you okay? Right, Bar? What? What's going on here? Don't tell me she got you too. You collapsed after eating Lady Kareem's cooking. I see. So I was poisoned? Poison? Oh, nothing. But Corinne's cooking, wow, it's beyond bad. I mean, a whole new dimension of disgusting. Ah, uh, sorry, I don't mean to insult Corinne. Not at all, it's just... Lady Corinne was just worried about you. I know, but what if this arm goes on a rampage again? I could hurt her again. If... Yeah. If I think that arm of yours is going to hurt Lady Corrine again, I will cut you down without thinking. Okay. You're a good man, Rygar. Ah, I almost forgot. I need to give you something. What is it? Well, it's a policy of mine to apologize to any victim of Lady Corrine's cooking. You've got one tough job. <laughs> well, take care of yourself. So, I've got plenty of rest at least. Let's take a look around then.
Thank you. 